Hello all, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces High Priestess. I am here tonight for another one of my missing mysteries. Um, tonight's missing mystery is going to be for Asia Jaquila Degree. Um, and this, hold on just a minute guys. This is Asia. I just wanted to do this like this because I can show you all her picture better. Okay, so this is Asia Jaquila Degree. She is the young girl um, who went missing from North Carolina, Shelby, North Carolina. So I'm going to be doing a missing mystery for her. She has been missing for about 21 years. Okay. So, as I always tell you all, I hope that you all are doing well and you are feeling well on tonight. And um, without any further ado, we are going to get into this reading. It is so heartbreaking, you all. So, um, I have some more work to do. Um, so, I want to go ahead and get this done. Um, I'm like in between working and homeschooling, helping my daughter with her homework and like everything, y'all. So anyway, we're going to get into this reading for Asia Degree. Um, like I said, she went missing in 2000, so she's been missing now for about 21 years. Um, so yeah, um, we're going to get right into that. Just a moment. Okay, you guys, so this reading is going to be for um, little Asia. Well, she wouldn't be little anymore, but when she went missing, she was um, very young. Um, her name is Asia Jaquila Zagree. Okay, her date of birth is August 5th, 1990. Her place of birth is Shelby, North Carolina. Her hair was black. Her eyes are brown. Her height was about 4 foot 6 inches tall at the time of her disappearance, as well as her weight was about 60 pounds at the time of her disappearance. Her sexual orientation is female, and she is black and or African American, whichever is preferred. Now, the details pertaining to this situation for Asia, um, Asia Jaquila Degree is said to have been missing from her home in Shelby, North Carolina since February the 14th, 2000. She was reported missing um, by her parents um, later that day. However, family members last saw her asleep in her bedroom at approximately 2.30 a.m. However, at 4 a.m., Asia Degree was seen walking along North Carolina um, Highway 18 in Shelby, North Carolina, okay? So, like I said, around 6.30 a.m. is when her parents actually reported her missing. Um, after more than a year, however, um, later Asia's um, backpack, her book bag, was discovered buried along North Carolina 18 in Burke County. The FBI of Charlotte is investigating in partnership with Cleveland County Sheriff's Office and the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation. Okay? On top, I already knew how, you know, just, just the overview of this, you know, the situation pertaining to her. Um, I literally seen her sleeping and, you know, some people may be like, oh my gosh, Tiffany, how is this even possible? What do you mean she was sleeping? My point is the baby was sleepwalking. Um, but the visions that I got from the moment that she walked out of the house to when she was, and then I see her walking down a road and there's like wooded areas or grassy areas or whatever, um, she's just like, you know, she's just walking straight, not zigzags, not, you know, stumbling, not just like, you know, 
Um, so I, I instantly knew. I said from the moment before I even read anything pertaining to anything else um, with the situation, I said this baby was sleepwalking. <clears throat> and in fact, that's exactly what my spirit guides confirmed. When she left the house, she was sleepwalking. Um, so first of all, that's how she ended up out of her bed um, in the wee hours of the morning outside. Okay, so we're going to start from there. Okay, you all. Um, like I said, I did a spirit reading for Asia. And I'm not going to take up too much of you all's time. Um, I have some other work to do, another video to upload, and like I said, I'm helping my daughter um, at the moment as well. So, we're going to get right into the spirit reading. Um, starting with, I asked my spirit guides, um, was Asia degree sleepwalking when she left home? My spirit guides confirmed that yes. That is, in fact, true. Um, I asked my spirit guides, did a, um, a stranger that seen Asia walking, did they pick her up? My spirit guides tell me yes, okay? Um, I asked my spirit guides, is someone who, was this someone who, well, I asked multiple different questions at this point when I realized that she had been picked up um, while she was walking, Um so I asked, like, did a truck driver pick her up? You know, was it a neighbor? Was it somebody she knew? Just, you know, throwing different things out there. So I got no's for all of those or whatever. And finally, I was, my spirit guides told me that this not this wasn't someone who necessarily knew her or who she knew. However, this, these, this is an individual who is from North Carolina, okay? Um... So, so like I said, the person who, who some, this person who lives in North Carolina is the individual who happened to be driving down the road at the time that Asia was walking and picked her up, okay? This baby was sleeping while she was walking. She was sleepwalking, so um, you can imagine that it wouldn't have, it, it wouldn't wouldn't have taken much effort to just grab her and throw her in a vehicle, Okay? So my spirit guides went on to tell me that a sexual uh, predator picked up Asia, okay? And I confirmed with my spirit guides at that point when my spirit guides told me that this was a sexual predator. I asked my spirit guides, was this individual a registered sex offender? By me asking this, this is somebody who is in the system. You understand me? Who um, uh, the local law enforcement already have fingerprints on, DNA on, something that's in CODIS, that's in the database um, pertaining to this individual. Because when you say sexual predator, either this is a sexual predator who has flown under the radar or this is a sexual predator who has um, been convicted of something before. So by confirming that this is in fact a registered sex offender, these individuals can be found in the database, okay? Um, this is what threw me for a loop, y'all, because I'm like, what? Like, I literally ask about everybody. So, of course, off top with this situation, I'm like, okay, some sick perv came driving down the street, seen this little girl, and snatched her up, y'all. What my spirit guides tell me that a woman picked up Asia degree on the morning in the wee hours of the morning that Asia was walking down the street. Yes, you heard me correctly. A woman. I'm like, wow. Okay, so this is the sexual predator, most high. And like it was literally confirmed to me that yes. I was like, wow, okay. So then um my spirit guides went on to tell me that the woman that picked up Asia um, also killed her. So, um, at this point, I'm like, okay, wow, we have a woman who is one, a sexual predator, a woman who is a registered sex offender, a woman who kills, a woman who has snatched a child off the side of the freaking road. I'm like, 
this is crazy. So I'm like, I'm asking spirit. I'm like, did she do this by herself or whatever? And my spirit is like, no, she, uh, my spirit guides did confirm that she in fact had help. Um, but what I'm seeing is at the time that she took um, Asia, she was by herself. I get the, the feeling that she was driving by herself. She stopped, got this girl, put her in the vehicle, and then took her to the house or took her to um, their destination or whatever, where she lived or wherever. And from there, um, my spirit guides tell me that um, the, woman's, uh, the woman had a family member that helped her to harm, to assault, and to kill Asia and this was a brother I'm like wow okay so you have like a sister brother duo psychopath um, narcissistic wicked sexual predator combination of I'm like that like what kind of siblings are these okay so um um my spirit guides told me that the woman and her brother um they they assaulted Asia in several different ways, ultimately raping her, okay? And my spirit guides tell me that both the woman and her brother partook in sexually abusing Asia, okay? Both of them. So it wasn't like she picked up this kid to take home to the brother as a gift, like, hey, bro, here you go. No. No. They partook in this together, so I'm like, you know, they had to have had some, like, some freaky, creepy stuff that went on in their life. They're probably, like, incestuous and been screwing each other since they were, like, tots or something. And so, um, yeah, my spirit guides tell me that um, the woman, as well as her brother, you know, they assaulted Asia in many different ways, but they ultimately ended up raping her. Um... Um, during which time she, um, Asia was strangled to death. This is ultimately how she died. My spirit guides also tell me that um, that um, that this duo they buried Asia in the woods. Okay, so after they assaulted her, after they raped her, after they strangled her, they then took her body out to the woods and they buried her. My spirit guides tell me that she's in the earth, which means she's in land, she's in the ground, she's um, she has been physically buried. Okay, um. And so, like I said, the, this duo that picked her up, that raped her, that strangled her, that buried her, my spirit guides tell me that these individuals were white, um, Caucasian individuals who done this to Asia. Um, also, my spirit guides tell me that Asia is buried in the woods close by her house. Um... But besides that, the next interesting thing that I found out is that um, my spirit guides clarified to me that Asia's family is involved in, in, in what happened to her. Um, specifically told me that they are involved in what happened to her. And so I was kind of confused at this point because I'm like, these were strangers that, you know, n didn't know Asia's parents or didn't know Asia, hadn't seen her before, you know, wasn't necessarily paid to, 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 you know what I'm saying, target her and do this directly to her. So how were the parents involved? Like, how would they have known or whatever? And so my spirit guides began to break that down um, for me, okay? Um, so like I said, um, my spirit guides told me that Asia's parents set this up to happen to her. Um, my spirit guides also let me know that the parents knew that Asia would sleepwalk. She had a history of sleepwalking. Um, 
And, and this makes sense because if you remember in the details of the story, there was a family member that told the authorities that they remember seeing Asia in her bed asleep around 2.30 in the morning. You know, most people, I mean, some people are night owls, but for like, you know what I'm saying, everybody else in the house except for Asia, the likelihood of everybody else in the house being up except for her, and they all supposedly seen Asia in her bed sleeping at 2.30. I'm not saying that's a lie i'm saying why was everybody else up in the house now it is possible to each is his own you can stay up as late as you like you understand what i'm saying but from other siblings to the parents and everything had this you know very detailed concocted story you understand me and just so happened they knew exactly what time it was when they walked past her room and seen her in her bed and she was asleep and oh it was 2 30 okay whatever so and this is what they told authorities you understand like they have several different time frames because the family told the authorities, oh, we walked past her room and we see her in her bed sleep at 2.30. But then it jumps to 4 a.m. and says that somebody seen Asia. Oh, yeah, I seen her at 4 in the morning walking down the street. But then the parents didn't even call to report her missing until 6.30. Okay, so, um, yeah. So, um, my, my, like I said, my spirit guides tell me that um, the family is involved what happened to her. The family um, set this up to happen to her. The family knew that Asia had a history of sleepwalking. The parents knew that Asia would get up and, and sleepwalk that night just like she would, I think, every other night. But I think a lot of the times when, when Asia got up and, and was sleepwalking, she stayed in the house. She may have, you know, most people who sleepwalk, they get up and they do things in a routine like they normally would. Which would explain why Asia had her backpack with her. She was sleepwalking. She, the baby probably thought she was on her way to school. You understand what I'm saying? Um, because she had her backpack with her. Um, but the crazy thing about this, you all, when that baby got up and started sleepwalking, my spirit guides tell me that when the parents seen Asia sleepwalking on this day, that they led her out of the door. They led her purposely outside of the house. Um, so something can happen to her. So, okay, at this point, I'm like... And they didn't know exactly what was going to happen to her, but they, they knew that she slept walk. She had a history of sleepwalking when they waited for her to start sleepwalking and then they let her out of the door. Um, this is the reason why, I mean, I believe it was cold at the time. This is the reason why the baby, she, she wasn't even properly dressed to be out in the cold like that. You understand? And just walking down the street in the freezing cold with your backpack and, you know, and in sleepwalking, like I couldn't even freaking imagine, they let this baby out the door. Now, they did not know the events that were going to take place. You know, for all they knew, she could have slept, well, you know, kept sleepwalking right out into the street and got hit by a car and killed. You know, they probably had insurance on her. Um, um, my spirit guides did tell me that the parents are sellouts to these powers that be, that this was a sacrifice for them, which is why they let her outside the door. So they didn't specifically know that she would be taken by a predator and assaulted and killed the way she was, but they did do so in an effort for something to happen to her. Um, and so I was really appalled by that. Okay. Um, so, like I said, the parents wanted something to happen to her so they can get some type of benefit from, you know, the sacrifice of their daughter, okay? Um, so, um, I asked my spirit guides, like I just told you, um, if, if Asia's parents were sellouts to these powers that be, my spirit guides tell me yes, but my spirit guides also clarified that, um, no particular person in power... Or say uh, in government or something like that was in coercion or collusion with the family for this to take place or something like that. Um, 
I believe it was like on the father's part, maybe whatever type of job or career he had, he may have been up for some type of advancement or raise or something like that. So amongst um, who he's in connection with um, may have been aware of this setup and this going to go down like this and the sacrifice needing to be made for him to come up or whatever is more so what I'm feeling. But um, a lot of times, um, well, I'll just say it like this. You know, when I ask about, say, the government, I want to know if, you know, elite individuals are involved, you know, so because by uh, me knowing that a person is sold out to the powers that be, that just basically lets me know that you either have some type of high ranking position where you have taken an oath, you are a part of a secret society, you're a part of a fraternity, a sorority, or, you know, something along those lines where there's a secrecy to the organization where you have to take oaths and different things. Um, you know, so there can be different levels to selling out to these powers that be, but that doesn't necessarily make the elites and the highest in power involved in everything. You understand what I'm saying? So I like to break that down to know for sure. Now, this brother and this sister who assaulted, who raped, who killed and buried Asia, um, degree, my spirit guides tell me that the woman that picked Asia up is named Jill, um, last name Edwards. My spirit guides tell me that the brother is named Paul, last name Edwards. Um, so, um, also my spirit guides tell me this as well. Um, the, the backpack, um, where wherever this backpack that, that they found buried in the woods ironically asia is buried um near where her backpack was she's in the ground she's in land my spirit guides told me that she is buried somewhere close to home she's also buried buried very close to where the backpack was found um and my spirit guides tell me that Asia buried her own backpack for whatever reason and that she did so while she was still sleeping. Um, I don't know what she thought she was doing in her sleep. Like I said, a lot of times when people are sleepwalking, they, they do different things like... There's people who have been sleepwalking and they get up and take a shower, get dressed for work, go and cook something to eat, literally leave the house. Some people have even you know, driven somewhere. Some people have even committed cold-blooded murder while they were asleep um, by accident because um, you're not supposed to disturb a certain way or alert, you know, a person that's sleepwalking too quick because they're still asleep. So they'll have like this knee-jerk reaction. So there has been cases where um, like there was this one person who was supposed to be going to his in-law's house to do some type of gardening work and they heard this person like out in the shed or something. They heard noises out of, outside in the shed. So when they went to go and check, it was their, you know, the, the in-law, the, the son-in-law or whoever. Um, and when they went to go, they didn't know that the person was asleep. When they went to go grab the person, he ended up having like shovels and other gardening tools in his hand. And he just literally wigged out and ended up killing them. But the person was sleepwalking at the time um so these things like really do happen it is a really weird phenomenon but it really does happen um yeah but like i said back to asia asia buried her own backpack while she was sleepwalking my spirit guides are telling me okay but ironically i don't think the people that took her know this and ironically where they buried her is very close to home is is very near where she lived as well as where the backpack was found so i would if i was the authorities i would search in between the areas of where the backpack was found all the way leading back up to the closest to where she lived okay um okay guys well that concludes the reading for 
um, Asia Jaquila Zagree. I did pull some um, some further clarifications for her. The spirit guide messages here. We have wickedness in high places. B system six six six. I told you all the um, the parents are sold out to these powers that be in one way or another. Um, and so that's where you get wickedness in high places. Um, and then I have ultimate betrayal that goes along with that as well. Okay. Next, I have um, satanic sellouts. So like I said, once again, um, these individuals were sellouts. Um, they're either in the occult. This was a blood sacrifice. Um, the father, I believe, is in a secret, secret society. And then I have feeling blue, which talks, which talks about um, um, feeling down, being depressed, feeling blue, feeling, you know, out of sorts. Next, I have Kidnapper, and this was like so disgusting when this came out, but um, I got the message, it feels good. Um, so these Kidnappers are seriously sick in the head, like they got really great gratification out of doing what they did, like they probably felt like a kid in a candy store who can get whatever they want on the day that they just found this little girl randomly walking down the street by herself in the wee hours of the morning, you know, and she was just so easily to grab and they just went and did what they wanted to her, tossed her aside, disposed of her body and have gotten away with torture and rape and murder all this time. And, you know, to their, in their sick mind, it probably was like the greatest day ever. Um, next we have betrayal. So we have individuals uh, who are deceivers, okay, who's got bad juju on them, a manipulator, a liar, uh, uh, people that's disloyal, um, backstabbers, okay. She was betrayed not only by her family who lured her, who basically um, led her outside knowing that she was sleepwalking. Then I get the message, don't look back, okay. Next, I have the message of rape. Clearly, she was raped, she was tortured, she was assaulted in many different ways. She was ultimately strangled before she was, you know, tossed aside and buried. And I have the message, you can't trust nobody, okay? Last but not least, on the spirit guide messages, I have family disloyalty and betrayal, okay? It, I mean, this explains itself, and I have the message, somebody is watching you, okay? So, I feel like they were, like, plotting and planning and, you know, these things for quite some time. The messages that I got, you know, from the spread of cards that I pulled for this young lady is, I mean, it tells a tale. Um, and I clearly know that this baby is in nature, because every card that came out for her depicts her in nature. The first card that I have, number 15, which um, comes down to a 6, it has it says garden, okay? You see that lady? You see how she's sitting in the woods? She's by a tree when she's smack dead in the middle of a wooded area. Asia can be found in an area just like this. It's going to be in a wooded area. She's possibly buried next to a tree somewhere. This card um, says something lovely will grow from this. That baby's a flower. And that flower is, is waiting to be plucked, to be bloomed up out of that makeshift grave she was given. Or she was buried in the woods. Okay, And that's what this card shows you. Okay, next for my um, for my um, Archangel messages, I have number eight here, which is Archangel um, Ragul, which speaks to justice. Okay, and it says, "Fight for justice and um, equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up." 
I believe justice is going to be served in this situation. I have faith and I believe that the authorities, if they see this, if somebody pertaining to this situation get this inf information, I know I'm being listened to and watched all the time. They're going to go out there and search. I believe they're going to find her. I believe the individuals who um, are involved will be apprehended as well. And there will be justice pertaining to this situation um, concerning Asia. Next, again, um, with this. Uh, I pulled two different ones of these messages. I have number 27, which it says, which, okay? And it says justice is coming. There, Justice will be served in this situation for Asia. I'm claiming it. I'm speaking it into its ex ex existence. Asia will be found. Justice will be served for what was done to that baby. From the parents' involvement to the individuals who assaulted her and discarded her in the matter in which they did as well as um you know all parties involved and she she will be found and she will be given a proper burial okay i want to show you all this as well too this message came out of my cards that are um the zodiac signs and the elements this came out, this lets me know that she's in the dirt. She's in the earth, in the land, in the dirt, y'all. You got to dig for her. But she's in that area, somewhere in between where the backpack was found and where she lives. She's buried in that area. But my spirit guides told me that it's really ironic that she was buried in that area because the, the, the kidnappers... Um, the, the, the individuals that whom assaulted her, <clears throat> my spirit guides tell me, lives in North Carolina, but they don't live close to that area where they buried her, nor live close to that family. So that was interesting to know. Okay, next I have um, the, the Earthcraft um, card. And it is number 42, which again is a six. Okay, y'all. And this is called, this is a, 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 a girl who is depicted out in nature as well. It's called Wild Winds. Okay. And this says, do you hear the whispers in the wind? Have you ever been alone in nature when suddenly you hear a word or a sound, but no one is there? Earth Mama speaks to us in many ways, but it takes time and practice to hear her with clarity. At first, you may wonder if it's just your mind playing tricks on you. Do not allow doubt to block the wisdom of the earth. This baby is in the earth. Go to those woods. Listen for her cries. Listen for her voice. And let Mother Earth lead you to her. Last but not least, I have again. Do you all see how nature was literally depicted on every single card pertaining to her? Except for the two cards that I got. Um, letting it be known that justice will be served. in the Archangel message, which was justice. And then the... Um, Believing your own magic deck. Um, it was the witch card, which it says justice is coming. Justice will be served in this case. Okay. Here, this is one of my fairy cards. Um, this calls nature signs. You see this girl? She's out in nature. Smack that in the middle of the woods, y'all. That baby is out there. She can be found. Okay. And this, this card says, be receptive to the subtle messages from nature as you go about your day. Nature talks to us continually. We need only open our hearts and minds. I'm telling you, it's practically, it's the same of what this card, these cards come from two different decks. And they're telling you, go out in nature, open your heart, open your minds. 
Don't don't just try to use your main senses of hearing out of your um out of your ear. Okay? There are many different ways of hearing, of seeing. Go out in nature and you will be drawn to her because she is there. And every one of these cards tells you so. Okay, guys. Um, okay. I have one more angel um, message here. This card says, no worries. This is an angel card. It says, no worries. The angels are telling um, uh, you all, there's no need to worry. Okay, why is there no need to worry? I just told you exactly what happened. Why is there no need to worry? Because I told you exactly where she is. Why is there no need to worry? Because justice will be, um, is coming. Justice will be served in this case. All you got to do is follow the clues, follow the leads, and listen with your heart and your mind. And you will find her. I promise you. Next, from the past life oracle deck, I have father. There is something with her father. I'm telling you, the father is the one who is the sellout. The father is the one who needed the sacrifice. The father is the one who was all for um, this plot to when when she got up to um, to to sleepwalk once again, like she normally do, but she would normally stay in the house. Led her astray. Let her led her outside the house in the cold with nothing more than her backpack while she was asleep, walking out into danger. There's something with the father, I'm telling you. Okay. I thank each and every last one of you for listening, for watching, um, for visiting my channel. Okay, um, if there are any of you who have any suggestions of missing mysteries or murder mysteries that you would like me to look into for you, I would be more than happy to do so. You can contact me in the comment section or you can email me at tiffanyziggler60 at gmail.com. However, if you feel compelled to or you would just desire or like to donate to the channel, you can do that as well through Cash App. It is Tiff Diamond 36. Okay? And that would be greatly appreciated um, for you all to do that. But I don't want you all to feel pressured um, in doing so. Like I said, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, however, I do this because this is a part of my calling. I do this because I want to heal and help as many people as I possibly can. Um, I do this in an effort to awaken others, to make others vigilant and aware of the dangers in this world and the evil and the creepiness, the wickedness that lurks around every corner all across this world. Okay? So... I just appreciate you all for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe if you will. Um, and as I always tell you all, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. But most of all, take care of your babies. And so the next time, peace, love, and light. Um, I'm sending Asia peace, love, and um, light as well. Um, much love and um, plenty of blessings and a... a um, a, a safe grand recovery so she can be laid to rest properly um, and to all of you all like I said peace love and light take care of yourself guys and until the next time namaste